ever wanted to know how to subtone on the saxophone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. What's going on? This is Quaman Fowler of Jazz Web Shed Channel here. And uh, this is where I educate jazz students and empower musicians and help you enhance your skills. I got a question from someone wanting to know how to subtone. So, first of all, you want to have the right read and mouthpiece combination. A lot of times people will think that it's them, and it can be sometimes, but if it's hard to get the low notes out, then maybe you need to change your setup. For me, uh, my setup right now, I have a Theo one Slant Sig 2, and it's a 7, uh, size 7, and then I have a, uh, the reed I'm using is a Bandurin V21 2.5. And this ligature is a Saxatone Super Stack ligature. This is the three ring. This neck is a unlacquered TM neck with my TM Cognac colored uh, tenor. And so that's Tenor Madness. So this is the combination that I've been uh, playing here lately. And so one of the first things you want to do when you play uh, the bottom of the horn is get the, the full sound, the natural full tone, you know. So if I hit a low B flat, you know, that's the sound. It's really big and buzzy. And so what you have to do to get the subtone is really to change the way that your embouchure is. So uh, I would say... It's more ha when you're playing uh, the low note, but when you want uh, the low note with the full sound, but if you want to do the subtone, it's more so whole, whole, like a owl or something. You're going to try to blow, if you would think about blowing warm air on a window, you know what I'm saying? So warm air. So same thing. That's the buzzy loud one. So I'm going to change. So my approach is different. It's more like ha, you know, really warm. Uh, what I do too, I put uh, both lips. Um, I put, I use both lips. So they call that the double cushion, or they call it double lip. I'm sure. I have a video that you can watch uh, where I go over how to uh, play the double lip. I'm sure. But right now, let me show you how to subtone. So. So what I do, I pull back a little bit on my bottom, uh, my my jaw. You know, I'm, I make sure that I let the 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 reed vibrate, so it's not too much pressure. So make sure that the reed is wet enough. And so I'm tightening up, of course, sealing the corners, but I'm kind of changing, backing off a little bit, uh, you know, with my tightness at the bottom. So. Uh, you know, I can make it make it do the subtone. shape of my mouth I'm like oh <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to explain it's one of those things you got to play around with so if you get the regular sound oh you know so if you practice just getting going from the, the regular full sound to the subtone, try to do it. And I think you just have to keep practicing at it and trying to back off. So when you blow, if you can sneak up on it, sneak up on it, just try to 
hall, try to make the sound like gradually come in instead of just busting it, you know. Sometimes you get the overtone, and that means you just need to uh, drop your jaw a little bit more to get that, to get the natural sound to come out for the subtone note. You might have to practice it over and over just just trying to get your attack together because you don't want to have the note just to bust out. I mean, that's the full tone, but you, to get the subtone, you really got to ease on it and like remember drop the jaw and then it's more so uh, letting you you're ba basically letting the reed vibrate more and not really putting your mouth all the way on the on the mouthpiece to where you're getting the full sound. So usually with the full sound, you got more mouthpiece in your mouth. You know, I'm like you know, really on, on the mouthpiece. But when I subtone, I back off a little bit and tighten up and really let the bottom, um, you know, let the reed vibrate more. Okay, so try that and let me know what you come up with. Leave me a comment. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I would love to hear it. Your feedback. We'll see you in another one.